What is good guys and girls? It's your boy Justin Omoe and I this is probably like the bougiest video ever because I had something in mind but it's taken forever just to deal with. I don't know if you can see that right there but it's updating. But yeah today I want to talk to you guys and girls quick about touch functions on the uh, what you call it FL Studio touch software. I guess you could call it like software keyboards. If you guys and girls have a touch laptop, hopefully the ones that swivel around or something, you know, nowadays, uh, this one doesn't swivel around, so I'm going to be very ghetto with this shit and have it like this right here. But yeah, it touch, it's it's touch function, so you can see I touch there. But let's say, hey, these keys are pretty damn small, like if I'm trying to play here and I don't have a keyboard or a MIDI keyboard, or whatever, let's say we want to do touch functions. That is possible all right to do this go into I know you can't really see it that great but go into your uh, view options or view and you'll see a option called touch keyboard which is the key alt F7 all right so yeah here you can see we have the drum pad setting on for the touch software here so if you have like the FPC on you want to use this to perform you can use that but here we go, we can use like a keyboard instead. We can make the octaves, oops. Let me just use the damn mouse. We can make the octaves more, our number of rows. We can have two rows here. If you want the octaves to extend, you just simply go here and extend this. And bam, now we have, you know. <laughs> Why would it play that sound? And like I was saying, So there we go, multiple touch controls. Alt F7. Wow, that shit faded out pretty nice. Hopefully this is a little bit informational to y'all. Thank you guys and girls for watching. Like I said, I was having another video planned, but this shit's taking forever. So, you know, I'll explain in the next video. It'll be the video. So yeah.